one of the reasons why many people do not are not able to pray because of the sin the sin the moment you commit sin for example i know that one person was very prayerful very prayerful he was a young man and he was very prayerful always into prayer spent a lot of time in prayer but suddenly he stopped prayer so i asked him what happened to your prayer and then he said father now i have gone away from god i think i have to start again let me see i will come for a retreat and i will make a very good confession and then i will start again what does it mean that means he knows he thinks that he has committed sin and therefore god is away from him or he is away from god therefore his prayers will never be heard so it's better just give up the prayer and come for retreat after some time and then go for confession and start again because he has a wrong understanding about prayer my dear brothers and sisters prayer helps you to get connected even if you have committed sin by mistake if you have prayer life your connection will not be lost unless you commit a mortal sin unless you commit a mortal sin your prayer con- connection with god will not be lost therefore do not wait for another retreat or do not wait for confession continue your prayers even if you happen to commit sin and beg for forgiveness and make a thorough rep- uh, act of repentance just say i'm sorry i will never repeat it and i and promise to jesus that you will never commit this sin and continue your prayer life god is still connected to you and you are still connected to god do not have this misunderstanding that god has gone away just because of one small mistake at small anger small irritation small fight with the husband or wife and small bad uh, small uh, something that you have spoken just because of that god will never leave you and you will not so you will also not leave god therefore don't get discouraged continue your prayer life even when you are in a small small sinful ways because god will help you to come out of these sinful ways sometimes the devil tell you the moment you get angry with your husband or wife the moment you are get angry with somebody the moment you say some bad words or maybe some lies or something the devil will come and say see you committed sin now god is gone away from you you have lost the anointing now even if you pray it is waste your prayer will not be heard these are the lies from the devil do not listen to those lies therefore make sure that you come back to the lord make sure that you continue the connection with god you know normally suppose if you have if you come to know that you have hurt your brother maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend when you hurt them by mistake not knowingly if you hurt them knowingly it is very difficult to get reconciled but if you hurt your hus- husband or wife maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend unknowingly then when you realize that you have hurt her you have hurt him then suddenly you will never keep a distance from her or from him you will never go away from that person that day when you come to know that you have hurt the other person you will spend extra time you will show extra love and you will have extra emotions and you will try to make sure that the other person is more happy so that is how in every love relationship if you happen to hurt other person unknowingly you will spend more time to make sure that that hurt is reconciled the hurt is removed the same way if you love god if you think god has got an intimacy with you and you have an intimacy with god even if you happen to commit small sins don't ever think that god has left you and you have left god that is the day you have to spend more time you have to spend more time in the presence of god and beg for his forgiveness and say you still love him and know that he still loves you that will help you in your spiritual life praise the lord praise the lord